and they leave the stalls. Not a bad start for them. Afrad is the first one to go and show the lead. Mumbo Camtesio races in second. Breeze overs three deep, the white sleeves and red cap with Blackthorn along the rail, and then comes Street Art, and Amaqua Blossom is racing at the back of the field about eight lengths off the leader. Afrad taking them down towards the 2,000 meter marker, leads the way by two from Mumbo Camtesio racing in second and Blackthorn third. Street Arts in the grey with a gold spot with Breeze over on its outside. And the Maqua Blossom is the trailer. Going past the 1800 meter marker and that leader out in front there is Afrad. Still does it by two lengths to Mumbo Camtesio in second. In third place is Black Thorn. Street Arts against the fence in fourth. Followed further back by Breeze over to the outside and Amaqua Blossom continues to trail, only seven lengths off the leader. They cast the 1400 meter polar stern and out in front is Afrad, continues to do the bidding by two from Bumbo Camtesio in the red in second. Blackthorns against the fence third, followed by Breeze over, then comes Street Art, one from last, and Amaqua Blossom still trails as they leave the 1200 meter marker behind, and in front is Afrad, continues to do the work in front, now by three to four lengths from Bumbo Camtesio racing in second. Blackthorn is in third. In fourth is Breeze over racing one off the fence, the white sleeves and red cap, followed by Street Art and the Macqua Blossoms, the trailers. They turn into the home straight. Now they've got 900 meters to go. A fraud clear now by five lengths to Blackthorn racing back in second. Mumbo Camtesio's third got seven to make up. Breeze over's behind that, got the red sheepskin on. Then comes the Macqua Blossom and Street Art out back 600 meters from the judge. A Fraud still in front by five to six lengths. Mumbo Camtesio's on the chase. Then comes beyond that Blackthorn behind them. Street Art right down the inside. Breeze over has still got about eight lengths to make up to the 300 meter marker. They go and a fraud still goes strongly by two from Blackthorn. Breeze over the pack is closing in. The Macqua Blossoms in there too. But a fraud looks to hold on. Blackthorn the nearest danger. Then comes the Macqua Blossom. But it's a fraud with 50 to go. A fraud from Blackthorn and a Fraud goes start to finish. Blackthorn will run second. The Macqua Blossom third. Breeze over fourth. A fraud's on the extreme outside in the gold with a black cap. Stayed on best. At the top of the straight was five or six lengths clear. Kept on finding. He drifted to the outside and now drifts inwards. There you see a fraud drifting inwards. Blackthorn's in the yellow. Okay, trying to run on. Six, two, five. Right, so 6253, the numbers, the judges confirm that. A fraud does stay on. Jason Gates, Stephen Moffat, they, the winners, number six, a fraud. Second to number two, Blackthorn. Third to five, Namaqua Blossom. And fourth to three, Breeze over. 6253, the numbers that you need for race number two. All right, welcome back to the VAR, the winner's enclosure. And uh, I think probably the ride of the afternoon up until now, it's still, I know it's only race number two, but that was a fantastic ride by Jason Gates. Got cheap sectionals up in front, knew what he had underneath him, no weight on the back and got away at exactly the right time. Well done, of course, to the Delport family. Um, not forgetting Damatos, uh, Mr. Damatos, I believe uh, uh, the birthday runs in the family this afternoon. So this will be a nice birthday present. And uh, we're hoping to grab a word with all of them just now. I uh, just want to say well done to you, Jay, because I was watching the race with a few people here in the gazebo at the Vaal, and I said, listen, going through the 800, you were going extremely well, and you hadn't really cut the ribbons just yet, and I thought it was a terrific ride from you. Uh, thank you. Um, you know, uh, I actually, uh, last time I rode this horse, the 1800 was a little bit short, and I didn't have a chance to get clear enough, so they came and caught me late here um, the last time I rode him. Um, I begged Mr. Moffat for the ride again after that. Thank you to him for giving me the ride. Um, yeah, in, two, in the 2.40 today, I got there quite comfortably. I knew with the light weight and the way he was traveling with me last time that, you know, we, I can be five lengths clear coming into the straight and I know he's not going to stop, you know. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think it's all down to the horse you, you're on, you know. If the horse is helping you, you know, you're getting the, the support from the trainers, you know, you, you, the, you can make magic. <laughs> Well, look, Jay, um, we obviously try our best to do the most for all the jocks out there. Um, you guys are, at the end of the day, unbelievable talents. Um, 
top horsemanship. Um, there's so many different uh, words we can use to describe you guys uh, because I don't think the punting public out there really realize what you guys go through to put yourselves out there and try your best. Uh, but you're riding so well. I'm glad you're getting some opportunities now around the country. Keep up the good work. Uh, stay level-headed and uh, hopefully you'll get many more opportunities on the high felt. Thanks so much. Uh, I just also like to thank the owners, um, Dalport and uh, Dematos. Uh, also thanks to my sponsors, Viscon, and happy birthday. It's my brother's birthday, and I know, as you said, they also have a That's family right. birthday today. So, yeah, happy birthday to all the winning connections. And, yeah, my brothers, I have twin brothers. It's both of their birthdays today. So, yeah, I, this one's for them. All right. Uh, Jay, just quickly, can we see you again today? Yeah, definitely. What do you like? I like all my rides. All right, so we're going to follow, follow, follow. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jay. There we go. That's Jason Gates. You heard it straight from the horse's mouth that um, he likes all his rides today. Mr. Moffat, come a little bit closer to me, please, sir, because I'm very happy for you. I'm very happy for Anta as well. I know the hard work that you guys put in back at home. It's never easy trying to get new clients on board. Uh, but, um, I mean, it's been a while in between drinks. This must put a big smile on your face. Uh, over the moon, though. What a... But I uh, must start first with what a superb ride from Jason. He did everything I asked him. I said, make them stretch with the 50 kilos. And he won a good race. And he's a, he's a good staying horse. He's going to win more. And I'm just having a look at his record, Mr. Moffat. I mean, an eight-time winner. It's just outstanding. Yeah, no, he's, as I say, he's never given me a day's problem. He's a, a, a champ to train. I just want to thank Alvaro. And as I say, what a great ride from Jason to Mr. Delport. He's been a big supporter of my yard and to my wife. Very, very well done. And I just want to wish uh, Alvaro Jr. happy birthday. It's his birthday today and he's here to lead the horse in. And to Val, it's her birthday tomorrow. So it was came at a good time, this one. Mr. Moffat, can we see you again today? Have you got any more runners? Yeah, I've got two more. Uh, Memorial Day, I think she gets on very well with Gavin. I know she's taking on the boys, but she will run very well. And meet the captain has been a little bit disappointing of late. I'm just expecting a better run. You'll be hoping for Dougie? I'm um, always, always hoping. I know you guys are good mates, Mr. Moffat. Well yeah. played over here. Thank you very much. There we go. Good to have Stevie Moffat back in the winner's enclosure. Uh, let's chat to Alvaro Jr. Come and have a word with me, please, sir. It's your birthday. You've driven all the way to the Vaal. Um, how dare we not speak to you? Good to see you. Uh, happy birthday from uh, myself and the racing fraternity. And uh, you guys are all smiles. I can see behind the camera. Why not? Thank you very much. No, it's been an amazing day. It's been, for me, it's an incredible day. Golf in the morning, horse racing in the day. And this win has actually been so amazing, to be honest. It's a cherry on top of everything. And I'm hoping they'll take you out for some dinner later. Well, everyone's won there, so I think it's going to be a good night. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Long may it continue and uh, to many more. Thank you very much. Super. Enjoy the rest there's of your day. More. Thanks. Okay, there we go, Alvaro Jr. Lovely to have him in the winner's box and happy birthday to him. Well done to all the owners, uh, to the Dalport family. Pity they're not at the races today. To Mr. Moffat, I know it's been a hard time of late, uh, but it's just great to see them have another winner over here with number six of fraud. Biggest outsider. I see some bookmakers were offering 100 to 1 and when they closed those back gates. Uh, so to the guys that did go field over here, um, well, mind you, it was only the first leg of the PA, so you'll be safe and sound, I'm sure, in behind uh, the event winner. Pick six starts in race number three. Get those bets on. I believe it's Nick O'Kay who now picks up commentary thanks to Nikip.